Another look at the weather. We were rooting for those guys. Absolutely. Remember the piece last week? I know. They were dominant through their entire run, winning all their games 10 to nothing, but they had to fight for it last night against Canada. Well, certainly a good game. Yeah. Uh, lots to talk about in the weather department. We've got a severe weather that's going to break out out ahead of a frontal system that's producing some lighter showers across Texas, also some heavier rain falling through Louisiana. You can see this area in orange here. 12 million are at risk for scattered severe storms, large hail, damaging winds, a possibility that on Monday, Monday, it focuses in on Nashville and down into Alabama and northwestern Georgia. Then on Tuesday, it shifts to northern Florida. Now, this is the severe weather out ahead of the storm system that is possibly going to bring some messy weather to the mid-Atlantic by the time we get into uh, the middle of the week. So here is out, advance of, out in advance of this storm. By the time we get into Tuesday night, you can see a little bit of wintry weather trying to move into northern Virginia, up across Maryland, too. The storm itself looks like it's going to move out to sea before it strengthens into a nor'easter. But we still could see some messy weather as we go into Wednesday. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. Hey, Dylan and I are ready to whip through the highs and lows Let's of the week. Do it. Let's go. All right, our first high goes. They did get the big W up there, then they got another big W up there. <laughs> Sister Jean, whatever happens the rest of the way is the star of this right? tournament. It's yeah. so fun. What's funny though is she had she had Loyola going to the sweet 16, and that's it. She picked somebody else to oh. win after that, but they're gonna make her amend hers in precious metals. <laughs> The fact that it happened over Siberia where no one is there to, like, reap the benefits of it. It's a shame, isn't stinks. it? Kind of stinks, yeah. What are the odds that a couple of those, I don't want to impugn anyone's integrity, bars sort of disappeared into uh, a big, heavy coat? I, I think it's possible. I'd sneak one. Yeah, I'd, I'd sneak, sneak one. one. I would. Our next eye goes to the viral star. That is what a hero looks Do we like. know why he was dressed up as Elsa? Just he said he came in to make his friends laugh. I think it's a deep joke that probably oh. we will never understand, but <laughs> now the world heads. has seen it. <laughs> Arf, do you notice that? I didn't yeah, see like when he, when he kicked. Oh, yeah? So I don't know really how that happened. He's no Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance, <laughs> as our producer Dave Shire pointed out. Can you Clearly. do a jig? I cannot do a jig. some room and some time, nope. no? While you do the seven-day outlook? We're getting the wrap. Darn it. All right, coming up next, a Facebook Live chat with me and with Dylan. Let's in just do it. two minutes. Okay. We'll be right back. You sure? Hello, Dylan. Hey, Willie. And uh, we are going to talk about some uh, very strong storms down through the south today and then going into Monday and even into Tuesday, stretching down into northern Florida. We also have some light snow to start off the week across the northern plains and uh, very dangerous fire conditions out in western Texas and parts of the southwest. As we go into Wednesday, it doesn't look as of right now like it will be a big nor'easter, but we will still see a messy mix through the mid-Atlantic on Wednesday. And then by the end of the week, we are going to see that pull away. Some rain showers move into the Midwest and temperatures in the north is still cool in the 40s, but it should start to warm up down through Texas. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your... And that's your latest forecast. All right, Dylan, thanks a lot. Coming up next on Sunday today, drugs. And in honor of International Women's Day, first dance women's rights. All right. Thank you for spending part of your morning with us. We'll see you right back here next week on Sunday Today.